Hello, this tutorial will show you how to do a basic calibration of your Jambox instrument. You will first go to Setup and then Mouthpiece to set the left-right motion of the mouthpiece. You will notice as you move the mouthpiece back and forth, the cursor tracks on the screen. So you can move the mouthpiece to the leftmost position based on your available head range of motion movement and move it to the right side and also click set right limit. So now the jam box will play within this range of motion. Of course um, if you're able to use the entire range of motion that's available to the jam box that's great too. Next go to breath and here you will decide how much breath pressure is required to activate a note. Right now um, I have it at moderately sensitive. So you can see how much pressure is required to activate the puff and sip. I can drop the menu down and make it more sensitive, or I can choose less sensitive. Or I can click the line and drag it myself. So that's the breath pressure. And then the last setting that you would want to do for this basic calibration is the knob. And in the knob, you can set how far you would twist the knob to activate the knob. So for example, you could twist the knob down and then click set knob minimum, click the knob up, and set knob maximum. Now the dead zone is the area where the jam box will not register movement by the knob. And that's good because sometimes there's a little play in the knob and we don't want it to, for example, activate pitch band or what have you. So um, the dead zone is set, and in fact all these settings are set at the factory, but you're all, always welcome to recalibrate as needed. So my dead zone is slightly different. I'm going to click dead zone there. And then uh, I will set the dead zone for my start level. And for preferences, uh, you can decide what action the knob does when it is twisted up or down. You can set it to vibrato or pitch bend. I usually leave it to pitch bend. And you'll notice also that there is a checkbox at the bottom when the jam box is in the bracket, the behavior of the knob needs to be reversed. So we check this box to reverse the behavior of the knob when it is used within a bracket. And that is your jam box calibration basic settings. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoy your use of the jam box.